Hello everybody, Princess of the Bear. So now that Galaxy Edge is open, we finally found a reason to come to Hollywood. Because we're in Hollywood, we figured we'd try out. ABC Commissary. ABC Commissary, because you need a reservation at night now. Yes, it's gonna be do. interesting. You have to have a reservation to come to ABC Commissary, even though, I mean, yeah, Galaxy's Edge is open, but it's still quick service. You still order the same way. You're still ordering the same way. It's still the same everything. So I'm. You're just bringing your food. I'm a little confused as to why they changed it. It's a lot more dead in here than it was before the reservation system. So I don't know. So you order quick service style and the only difference is you bring me my food. That's weird. Whoopity do. It's still like you come here. The food offerings are not different. It's true. They're not super special. Food offerings are not any different and it's nothing special. Although I did hear that things have changed, but we'll see. Because I like to torture the bear with his hate of watermelon, I got a watermelon margarita. I, if I recall correctly, I got this last time we were here. I'm assuming it tastes the same because I've gotten a watermelon margarita at multiple locations at Disney World. And they all taste the same. Crisp and refreshing. This one tastes a little bit more like watermelon than some of the ones in the past. It's not like a mild watermelon. It's like I just ate a watermelon. Bears gonna hate that. Princess and her watermelon margaritas. Watermelon in name even sounds like a waste. Why would I want a watermelon? Why don't I just want a melon? Seems unfair. It's actually not bad. It's crisp and refreshing. It has, a, it has a distinct watermelon flavor, but it's not overpowering. I give it a solid three out of five for us. The bear got um, Happy Days, which has got like coconut rum and all kinds of stuff that I hate. Yeah, coconut rum in Pirate, Pirate, Pirate Bay. I should have learned to read these things before I ordered them. Um, I, already, I already have a feeling I'm not gonna like this because I hate coconut. Yeah, it tastes like a pina colada. No thanks. Ugh. I'd rather take spicy crap than that coconut crap. That's those happy days, which according to our cashier, will keep me happy for the rest of my day. You know, at 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I think I got this last time I came here too. I don't really remember. But I, I do this horrible thing like when we go and we order drinks at a restaurant and if they only have two, I just order the other one. I did, did that this time and didn't read what it had. It really wasn't in the mood of coconut, but I've dug my graves and so now I gotta drink it. You know you drink graves. Anyway. This is like a bobo from the colada. Two out of five plus. Do not like. Would not help her again. But I'll probably be dumb and forget and order it again. Alright, hummus. I love me some hummus. I feel like this is new. I don't remember this being on the menu last time we were here. And we'll put a link to our last video here in the description box down below. Okay. I get behind this. It's like a traditional hummus, but a little bit more tangy. This is my jam. I could probably just eat this and be happy. This is bomb. Mm hmm And the, um... The 
like cucumbers and tomatoes on top is like a nice, a nice topping instead of like your traditional oil and cumin or something like that. It adds a little extra, gives a little crunch. I like that. And then I kind of feel like a little, a little bit of a kick in the back of my throat, which um, I was not expecting. And it's uh, a pleasant surprise. It's not like, oh my God, spicy, but there's just a tiny little tang in there. It's good. Here's the thing. It's a beer thing. I like hummus. I eat a lot of hummus. Now I feel that for Disney, eating hummus is a super lazy vegan option. I'm not saying that I hate the option. I just feel like you could do that. But I digress. The grilled naan is good. How much is perfect? A little bit of spice. How about the cum spice? Right back in the mouth. But it's a solid appetizer. I would give it two and a half out of five plus. It's great, doesn't wow me, but it's good. Thomas. First thing I have to say about this clear Beyond Burger is that it's changed. Additionally, I like the fact that these are not your typical Disney fries. Steak frites. Steak frites that are seasoned. I do wish it had a little more seasoning because I taste more potato than seasoning. Like the potato to seasoning ratio is not the greatest, but it's still good. Drop the top. Lettuce, tomato, definitely beyond patty. I don't think it's ketchup. Some sort of sauce and then uh, Peppers, onions, looks like yellow and red peppers. I just dropped a vegetable and I put it in my mouth and now my mouth is on fire. This is spicy. Oh my God. I feel like I took a bottle of sriracha, opened it up, poured some drops on my finger, and ate it with a little bit of Beyond Patty. It's spicy. It's not like, I mean, that might be an exaggeration. It doesn't taste like straight up sriracha, but it's, I'll be surprised if the bear cannot taste the kick in this, because he does not have taste buds for spicy food. You could just pour, Ghost peppers down his gullet, and he's like spicy. What? I don't taste spice. So we'll see. Now, as for this veggie burger, which looks like Beyond, I can sort of see the red from here, so you can see where the princess mouth is on fire. Kind of afraid because I really don't want anything spicy tonight. My mouth is still on fire. Well, there goes nothing. What? No. What do you pour acid on that burger? Oh my god, it's spicy. <coughs> oh, that's like one of those that starts from the front and it spreads all the way to the back and down in the throat. I'm a spice lord, but I almost wouldn't even consider that edible. It's so hot. One and a half out of five plus. So I decided I wanted to do something different. I wanted to land and see here. And one thing that I wish, even as a non vegan, is I don't like my food fried if I can avoid it. They have a land and sea, which is like chicken, fish, and shrimp, but they're all fried, and I don't want fried food. So instead, I got ribs. I thought they were going to be really better for me. I was expecting a smaller portion, and as you can see, that is not a small portion. I got to walk around Disney for the rest of the night. Why the hell would I want three huge ribs? 
but at least I get paid. Mm. Bread and butter pickles. Heaven. Alright. Pretty treats first. The same as the princesses. Super seasoned. Steak size. Mmm. Still warm well season. It's gonna be a little bit more crisp. What points for being different? Three out of five plus. As for these ribs, which are gonna be a mess. See it already. And then at least your baby back. Isn't a rib supposed to fall off the bone? Yeah, supposed to. I'm gonna drop this ball real quick. That's not a good sign. over to it. Super chewy and not a good way. The kind of chewing that makes you tired and exhausted. The flavor is there. You're right, like I said, it's head over to it. Like you're using the barbecue sauce to hide the fat and you're over here and it's not working. Two out of five plus. I'm gonna eat it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Why you do this? Hello everybody, this is Bear here. So we just finished that ABC Commissary's new dinner reservation system. I'm extremely confused and trying to understand why this place even exists. Agreed. Not just as their menu reservation system, but as a restaurant period. Because My food was just was not great. Honestly, I didn't finish it. Just Neither did I. And I'm hungry. Fantastic, and I'm starving. I'm just disappointed by the whole thing. I was like, you you, 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 you come in with basically a quick service where you bring me my own food. I don't understand why they need the reservation. That makes absolutely no sense. It's empty. Whatsoever. It's dead here. And it feels like some sort of like generic shop and it's music is awful. There's <laughs> nothing good about this experience at all. Wet nap, like, I almost wanted to like return everything. That's how I feel about it. It's not great. It needs a retheme and a new menu. Yeah. You have a reservation system for a restaurant when no, nobody come around the table to check on you. It's literally just quick service, which you have to make a reservation for. You put up a little podium to make yourself look important. It's not working. Service and food is better at Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd much rather get a reservation someplace over here. Just go next door to Sci Fi. So much better. So much better. I digress. I have no idea. What? what, what? She's lost. Why are you lost? There's nobody over here. <laughs> but uh, this place, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I, I don't know what you're doing, Disney. Give Hollywood identity. Fix these restaurants. Seriously. There's no place. I mean, I thought. I know that I give Magic Kingdom a lot of crap for not having good food. But at least it does the food that it does. Well, it's fair food. And it works. It's true. Hollywood's food does not work for most of Hollywood. Minus Sci-Fi Dining, Pizza Rizzo's, Mount Melrose. Batu. Batu. Hollywood Brown Derby, 50's Crown Time. Retheme. Cook services. The, the, the horrible rice bowl we got that one time. The Fairfax oh, Fair. Oh, yeah. That was awful. Oh, it wasn't the, it wasn't horrible, it was the stingy guacamole. Mm. The little pre-packaged yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Figure this stuff out. Like, so, as you can tell, I'm saying skip this place. Please, please, don't come here. Hard pass. Much better food other places. You can get it all properly, don't you? Yeah, seriously. You could probably get better food at McDonald's. And I, I can't even eat anything I'm at McDonald's. 
Like I said, I actually felt like I wanted to return everything, but instead we just kind of ate what we could and are tossing the rest. Maybe you think I'm crazy. If I am, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you guys think. Do you love the new menu here at ABC and the reservation system? Maybe it's a bad night. I don't know. But let me know. I'll get it from you guys, and then we'll see you soon. Sure, subscribe. You heard the rule.